guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone is having a phenomenal day today. And today I'm excited because I'm doing Ipsy versus Sephora Play, which is the only Battle of the Boxes I do on my channel because they're the only ones I have right now that are equivalent, that are on somewhat the same scope, not Birchbox, um, as each other. So both of them are $10 a month subscription services. They both have their ups and downs. Obviously Sephora is only comes from Sephora. That's the only brands that they're coming from, is from different brands they sell at Sephora. Ipsy pulls brands from kind of all over the place, but you can order all the stuff that you like off of the Ipsy website, so I guess there's a benefit there. Um, Ipsy also very much custom makes your bag to you and who you are and what you like and the products you like. Like if you don't like eyeliners, you can tell them you don't like eyeliners and they'll stop sending you eyeliners. Sephora is just like, we'll bump that word Sephora, we're going to send you what we want. Um, but Sephora also always does a theme. Ipsy is just, you are the theme. So let's get into these bags. The first one I'm going to do is Ipsy and Ipsy is always identifiable when it comes to mail because it's in this bright pink. Okay, this is not bright pink. It's a pink bag, though, so I'm always really excited to see that because I'm always excited to see what I'm going to get with Ipsy. I never bother to check my emails with Ipsy because Ipsy will tell you what they're sending you. I like to be surprised because it's like Christmas. Um, I know this is a thing, and I might just be, like, under a rock. I live under a rock. Um, but what the fudge is this egg creature on this bag? I don't know what this means. I don't know what that name is. Also, why does it have butt cheeks? Who wants butt cheeks? Okay, there's probably people that want butt cheeks on their bags. But who wants booty cheeks on their bag? I did not want butt cheeks on my makeup bag. And I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. Because even though the bag's a really great material, I don't want to be carrying this around. Because someone's going to be like, you know your, your bag got some... Some butt cheeks on it, right? And I'm like, Ch Also, this would literally carry like nothing. I'd put like tampons on this or something. Don't know. Let's get into this. So, first thing in here, I'm trying to remember which ones are associated with which brands. I should know this because it's actually pretty easy. I feel like there's a product missing from here. Nope, it's hidden. Okay, I was about to freak out going, oh my gosh, I'm missing something. All right, let's get into the first product in the Ipsy bag. This one I was actually really excited about. Also, side note, if you didn't listen to my last, or want to my last, Ipsy versus Sephora video, I actually just redid my Ipsy profile because I was like, what the fudge, why did I not pick on the fairest of fair skin tones? Um, and picking like, I don't know, I had them sending me eyeliners and stuff and I didn't like it. Um, I started reprofiling myself so I didn't get stuff I want. So. I'm much happier with this bag than I have been in previous, the last few months. So this is from, oh, I'm so bad if I mispronounce these brands. Um, Moodicum? 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 I have no idea. Um, it's this. This is what it looks like. And my phone just buzzed. I'm not going to look at it, though. Um, also, if you're wondering what that is over in the background, that's my phone. Um, so yes, this is a serum. I love the packaging. I love the little teardrop thing. Actually, hang on. I don't think it's focusing for you guys. There it goes. Um, but yes, I love the packaging. I think it is super duper freaking cute. Um, but this is an essential serum. So it's supposed to be skin, cell, nutrients, whatever the fudge that means. It says it replenishes, regenerates, and restores. I'm not going to read any more of this. It has anti-aging properties. That's cool. Um, but this is a .34 ounce. This is worth $17.64 already off to a good start because that's worth more than the bag. Very, very excited. Actually, I haven't smelt it. I'm going to smell it. I'm really shocked. And Ooh, wow, that's weird. Let me try to get you guys to see. It's like yellow. It's like artificial banana color. If only I would make that observation that it looks like it looks like artificial banana coloring. It smells like if you dumped a bunch of it smells like if you've walked into like an essential oil store and you've inhaled that intense smell. That's what it smells like. Not quite a bath and body works or Yankee candle. Yankee candle, I can't do that. They give me a migraine. Next thing in here, which Ipsy gave me just a little bit of struggle with research, and this is one of the products that gave me a little bit of heartache, because I always try with all of my unboxings, this is not, by the way, I did not mention the before, none of this is a surprise, you should know that, I'm giving you guys numbers and math. Um, I prefer unboxings to be very much a mathematical perspective, so you can see if you actually would want to subscribe to the service based on the pricing that you're getting. Because if you're only getting like four bucks out of a bag, like why would you want to subscribe to this? Um, so this one gave me a little bit of issues. This is from Pacifica, and this is their Island Life Natural Mineral Eyeshadow. So this is actually a little mini palette, which is super cute. I've actually never had a little mini palette come from 
Ipsy. I don't believe so. Um, I've had many of eyeshadows, but not a little palette. So this one is super duper cute. I love these two colors right here. They're very, very pretty. I love the peachy kind of tone and gold tones look great on my eyeballs. Um, my struggle with him is they don't sell this at all. This is not sold at Ulta, it's not sold at Pacifica, it's not sold at Target. They do not sell this little mini palette. And like, like, it literally looks like, um, like a CoverGirl palette or like Revlon or any of those like drugstore palettes. Um, so in trying to price him, I just literally dropped his sponge applicator. I almost dropped it on the floor. Um, and to try to price him, I literally had to look up like what its similar sister was. And while they don't have an Island Life palette, they do have other mineral palettes. So they do have other palettes of the same caliber. So what I had to do is I literally went through the ingredient list because it does have the ingredient list on the, I just dropped something. Let me not leave that because the underneath me that it just fell in is my Japan bag. I did a Japan haul, I think, yeah, I don't know what day it's going up. I did a Japan haul, um, my brother sent me stuff. So this is, the ingredient list is right there. And then also for some reason they gave you a 20% off of P just Pacifica off of Ulta.com, which I thought was pretty stinking cool, um, even though I probably won't use it. Um, so yeah, I basically went ingredient for ingredient to make sure that the eyeshadow that I was basing my pricing off of was indeed the eyeshadow that they're using inside the sucker. Um, and it was. It matches. So I was able to price it that way. So this is a .127 ounce and it is worth $8.89, which is pretty good because the full size palettes are $14. So... I have to say, pretty good. I'm really excited about it. I'm excited to try it. Let me swatch actually these colors for you guys instead of just being like, ooh, I'm excited for this. Um, yeah, very powdery. I actually think I own a Pacifica palette, but I don't think I've ever used it. No, actually, no, I take that back. I don't think I own Pacifica. I think I own Pixie. I think I own other things from Pacifica. Those are actually really pretty. Uh, but let me see how this swatch onto hand. I did not swatch these in the proper order, so sorry guys. There we go, I'm like, where did my lovely little makeup wipe go? Um, that I used from taking off the stuff from when I filmed Birchbox. I'm about to do that in a second. So those are the eyeshadows. That's the one on the very, very in the darkest shade, which I would totally use in my crease. And then that is the, it's supposed to be more pink. Um, but it definitely comes out more white on me, and then that's supposed to be like the peachy shade, which is very, very pretty. Love with this gold shade and this brown shade. Absolutely stunning. Do I think I could get a look out of the palette? Um, yes, I could definitely get a look out of this palette, but it's definitely one I'd get bored with very easily. I know some people, like, when they do their eyeshadow, they use pretty much the exact same technique and shadows every single time because it's what they like to each their own. I like variety because I get bored way too often with my shadows. Um, but yes, I am excited to try that. I do think they're going to actually work really well because a lot of drugstore eyeshadows, they don't blend well. And then they just frustrate me because I blend the garbage out of my eyeballs. Like, I'm not one of those that can just like put one eyeshadow shade and be done. I need to contour my eyes. So yes, $8.89. This video is getting long. So sorry, guys. I'm not sorry. Um, next product in here is from So Susan, and it is actually an eyeshadow brush. So I love that they had the eyeshadow palette, maybe an eyeshadow brush. And I've never actually tried anything from So Susan. So this is what the brush looks like. It's just a nice, soft, tapered brush, which is actually a type of brush that I use right on the inner corner of my crease. Not the inner corner of my crease. I use it all on my crease bone to help blend it out um, and pack in color. So I'm really excited about trying this. This is the Angled eyeshadow brush and this is actually for one count is worth $17.95 so worth more than the back again so yes very very excited to try him out and to see how he works see if he's good to pack on color um next thing in here I've actually tried it before and I really like this so I was not upset to see it in the bag because I was like oh I love this stuff um this is from Tarte this is their Rainforest the Sea Deep Dive Cleansing Gel their face wash is amazing I really like it it's nice and soothing I'm gonna actually smell it because I'm right it smells like cucumbers it does it's like cucumbers but citrusy it's really really pretty I really like it though side note 
I was, I guess I follow the Tarte on um, Instagram, and so they were on Instagram stories showing like their three piece like sampler kit or whatever, and has the deep sea diving cell, their facial mist, and their moisturizer, and they're like, you can get three weeks out of like this approximately. And I'm like, there's no way you're washing your face twice a day with this sucker for three weeks. Maybe a week. Three weeks? No. I went through this so quickly. There's not much in here because this is literally um, a 0.25 ounce. It's worth 89 cents. And it's only worth 89 cents because when I do these videos, I always base it off of if it's coming out of a subscription service, unlike Sephora. Sephora is different. Sephora will come off Sephora's website. But with like Ipsy or Birchbox or BoxyCharm, I always pull the numbers based on the highest product that is sold off of the brand's website. So in this case, Tarte does sell a extra large size of the deep sea cleansing gel, so it makes it only worth 89 cents. <laughs> um, a little scary, but I do like that they offer a really, really big size. Um, the last thing in here, which literally made me laugh, and I looked it up and looked it up and looked it up a million two times just to verify that I was correct about this product. So this is from... Trifle Cosmetics, I think I'm pronouncing that right, um, and this is their Raspberry Ripple Ombre Radiance Blush Palette. Keep in mind, I just said it's a palette, they call it a palette, the website calls it a palette, the ounces on this thing is a .110 ounce, so this is the full size product, and I'm about to show you guys, you guys are going to be shocked, I was shocked. Do you, do you guys see how small this is? What the fudge? This is not a palette. This is literally like sample size. But this is a palette. They literally sell this size on their website. I was shocked. I was like, let me make sure I'm reading this right. Because it literally says on, for its ounces, let me read it again. Doodly doo, doodly doo, don't know why that's my go to thing. Um, but it says point three grams, 0.11 ounces on the box, and that's what it gives in this product description too, and it doesn't go like 0.11 per pan, because there are brands that like, um, Anastasia does that, Urban Decay does that when they have different pans of eyeshadow. This one does an entire combination. There are other brands that do that that is an entire like net weight of the entire palette, and that's what this says. Um, is this not the smallest thing ever? I'm like, how is this a palette? But the funny thing is, this full size thing, is worth $17.95. I'd be like, I want my money back if I spent $18 on this thing. Look how small that is. That is literally like, look, I'm gonna put it up next to the Pacifica palette. The Pacifica palette like eats those. They look like eyeshadows. I got more in this palette than I did in this thing. Literally, like this is actually what point, what one set point zero one seven ounces bigger than this thing. This thing's so tiny, it's so little. Um, I have not actually touched the shadows because I wanted to be surprised on camera to see how they looked, um, but so far I'm not enthused about this. Seventeen dollars and ninety-five cents. This is not a palette. It's very powdery, but it's like a silky powder. Um, Show you guys me watching it. I'm trying to get the my fingertips. Also, I've discovered because I've let my nails get like really nice and long. It's hard to use my fingers with nails that long. Okay, so let me swatch them down. Okay, they do have pretty good pigmentation though. Cause look at that. That's pretty good. All right, I give it to them. It does look pretty. It's very pretty. This is not worth $18. I'm sorry. No one's going to be able to convince me that it's worth $18. I don't care. It's not worth $18. So yes, um, if you're following along, don't know how many people actually follow along when I do these because they're probably, I don't know, I wouldn't have my calculator out. Um, but the total value of the Ipsy bag this month was $36.32. I am going to get the full value of it because I am going to try everything even though I don't necessarily think that blush palette is worth it, but I'll see how he works on my face. Um, but that does give you an 84% savings on makeup and skincare or whatever um, because again, the kitchen service is only $10 and just for reference, last month's bag was worth $59.83 with 82% savings. Moving right along. So next is Sephora Play, which I wish they would change the box because I wish they'd put play across this instead of putting it right where my address goes. Like, that's why. I don't know. 
Um, but I do love that Sephora Play always puts like here, like if you go onto the Play thing, they give you tips and tricks, which is really cool. They also always put this little brochure thing in here to talk to you about the products and the brand and all that names and stuff. Um, but they also include in the Sephora Play box a 50 point play card. So basically what you do with this is you take it into the Sephora store. You can also use a GC Penny, so you don't just have to use it at regular Sephora. Um, but they just scan the card. You do have to make a purchase, but you get 50 extra points for free. Um, which, if you know Sephora's rewards program, I did do a video on Sephora's rewards program if you guys want to check that out. Um, maybe I'll try to remember to link them in the cards. Um, but yes, so in order to get a point with Sephora, you have to spend a dollar. So basically that's $50 worth of free points, which is pretty fun. Because you're going to spend $10 in the box. Um, but yes, when you open it, they always have... They always do a really good job with their little things. Like this one's theme is um, beauty staycation. So like they gave you like some tips on like on a vacation, packing stuff, how to hike, pamper yourself at home, fun stuff like that. And then on the inside it will show you all the different products that were featured inside this box. It will tell you the brand's name, the reason they kind of like picked it. Um, the actual like name of the product underneath the brand and then what it kind of does um so yeah really excited about this let's get into this so this one's bad they always do these cute little drawstring bags and they actually mention you can use these to travel if you put like a ziploc bag inside of it do you know to protect it um but how cute is this bag it's like plaid it's like a little picnic table but like a cute picnic table and it says glam out i'm like oh so cute. Um, also, the bag does not come tied like this. It literally comes like this. Um, but I like to tie it because I think it looks cuter. Um, so yes, this is the Beauty Staycation. So the first product in here, which literally when I was pulling it out because I dumped it into the box. Um, and it happened to... I almost dropped my notes. They always sit on my leg and I'm always scared I'm going to drop them. Um, but when I dumped it out of the box, it was laying... Um, brand side down so I couldn't actually see that I identify the brand but I looked at this and I was like is this a Clinique chubby stick this is a Clinique chubby stick isn't it and I'm 100% correct so this is from Clinique this is their chubby stick moisturizing lip color balm and this one is in the shade Whoppin Watermelon so I actually haven't smelled it I actually touched it yet I know I've used these before in the past. It's been a long, long time. Like, I don't have any of them actually, I think, sitting in my current makeup collection. Um, but this one, it was a butt to look up. So, normally on products, they put the ounces on it. So I can research it. This one has literally no identification of its ounces. Thank goodness it has an identification of its shade. Um, so, yes, I literally had to look up other deluxe size samples of this to get its ounces off of that based on other kits because they're the same size. So this is a .04 ounce. He's worth $6.80. It smells like nothing. Um, ooh, he's very buttery. But he's definitely, he's definitely a bomb. Which is nice. Because there's not a whole lot of pigmentation to it, which is nice. I don't mind that. Um, enjoy lip balm. A good lip balm. I do definitely have value in high quality lip balms because my lips enjoy it much better. Um, so yes, he's worth $6.80. Next thing in here, I will use, I'm a little frustrated with him and I'll show you guys why in a second because literally I was doing this research, I'll tell you a little story about it. Um, this is from It Cosmetics. This is their superhero um, elastic stretch volumizing mascara. So you guys know when I typically do my research, I always do the largest size possible because typically it's the best value. They normally do a price reduction on getting the larger size. It makes sense. There are those very rare cases like with the Smashbox Photo Finish um, Foundation Primer where the travel size is actually cheaper. So this one was another frustrating thing even though on all of this packaging, including the packaging of the mascara, no one here doesn't identify its ounces. So I had to do a little researching to try to figure out his ounces, and eventually I did get his ounces. His ounce is a .17 ounce, and his value was originally written down as $13.60, but the reason I had to x it is because when I found the deluxe size, they actually sell him at Ulta. They do not sell this size at Sephora. They only sell at Ulta Beauty, which makes sense because it cosmetics is bigger at Ulta. Um, I'm like trying to, I'm not going to reclose it. Bump that idea. Um, but yeah, so they sell the travel size at Ulta for $12. I literally was like, hang on, hold up. 
because it's a 0.3 ounce for the full size, which is $24. But if you bought two of the travel size, it would equal the same amount, but you get more product. So it's cheaper to get the small size. That makes no sense to me. I'll never understand why brands do that. Whatever. So if you want to try this mascara and you don't want to, you know, pay $24, you know you don't have to. You can go to Ulta and get it for 12 bucks, and you're getting a better deal. Unless they have, like, the dual set, which they do have at Sephora. They have the full size with the small size, and that is a better deal. Next product, because we're running out of time with this. Um, this is from Madam C.J. Walker Beauty Couture. This is her wonderful deep conditioning mask. And it's supposed to be for all hair types. It's supposed to be hydrating and conditioning. I love the purple color. Um... I'm actually very, very excited about this. I love, love face masks, but I also love hair masks. I love taking care of my hair. You guys never get to see, really see it, because even though I cut it, it's still really, really long. Um, but my hair comes down right now to my waist. Yes, it's waist. It used to come down to my butt. Um, but this is a 1.25 ounce. These were at $6.67. So, oodles of fun there. Um, next product in here, which my sister looked at and was like, ooh, and I was like, Ooh, we already have several of them. She's like, I don't care, it's big. And I was like, okay, whatever. Um, I might actually end up putting this to the side to put into a future giveaway because I do enjoy this mask, but I have so many of this size. Um, this is from Peter Thomas Roth. This is the Cucumber Gel Mask, which is actually currently in my current shop, My Stash, which I didn't mention in, I think, yesterday's video because I think this video is going to go up on Sunday. I don't know yet. One of them, it's either Birchbox or Ipsy's for a play that went up on Saturday or Sunday. Don't know. Um, but I skipped Shop My Stash for this week because I decided to put it on a little bit of a hiatus. Um, so if you're looking for that video, it's not going to happen for a hot second because I'm trying my best to make sure that I can get everything together before I do another Shop My Stash because I'm pulling up products and using things like over and over again. And some things never get used because I don't have it all on my face. So with that. Um, but yes, this is the Cucumber Gel Mask, and he is one ounce. He's worth $10.40. Pretty freaking fabulous. Um, but it's nice, especially for like the summertime, because it's nice and soothing, because Cucumber is nice and soothing. Um, next product, which I've actually never, I think, used in Shop My Stash, but I have had it put on my face before, actually at Sephora, because if you're a VIB Rouge member, you get free mini facials at Sephora, so if you ever, like, face feels a little down, just Look at me, free mini facial if you're a Rouge member. Um, or know a Rouge member that will set you up for the appointment for them. Um, this is from Rin. This is their Evercom Global Protection Day Cream, which don't let the protection fool you. I do not believe this has SPF in it. I'm going to actually read the card because I think if it had SPF, it would be on the card. Does not. It doesn't have SPF in it. I didn't think so because they always put SPF on the products if it does include SPF in it. Um, but this is a 0.5 ounce. I was actually surprised at how generous the ounces is because it's full size sister is a 1.7. Um, so yeah, he's 0.5. He's worth $13.24. So yay! Um, very, very excited about that because I actually really enjoyed that because it's really nice and soothing and calming on my um, easily irritated flesh because it doesn't take much to annoy my skin. I'm like trying to put all these back into the correct bags just in case something ever happens and I have to reshoot them like I had to do with Birchbox. Um, the last product in here, because Sephora always does five items just like Ipsy, but they always also include a perfume sample, which I do count because it does have value. Um, I just don't typically ever care for them. Um, but this one is from Guerlain, um, and this is their Mon Guerlain, which is packaging is everything. It's so freaking cute looking. Um, this one is an online only perfume, so it is nice that they include a perfume that you can't actually typically smell inside the stores, because they only sell it online. So I think that's nice. Um, but this is a .02 ounce. He's worth 73 cents, because he's got a pretty big full-size sister. I want to say the full-size is only $125. It smells sweet. I don't like it. Um, also, it didn't want to stay in its little packaging because for some reason when they popped it in my box, both of the little slats were down, and so it literally would just fall out every single time I'd put it back in there. And my sister's like, you dorkos, put the tabbies down so it doesn't keep falling. So, recap on this box. Again, it's $10 a month. Sweets and service, just like Ipsy. The total value of this box this month was $49.84. I'm going to get $49.11 because I don't include the little perfume sample because I don't like him. Um, but that does give you an 80% savings based on the total value of the box. And just for reference, Sephora up themselves a little this month. Last month kind of annoyed me a little, and by a little I mean a lot. Um, last month's box was $26.08 with 62% savings. That's a big jump. 49 26 
huge jump. So overall, I definitely think Ipsy beat out Sephora this month, but I definitely really enjoyed the products that were being featured inside Sephora more. So I think they kind of like, I think they tied. In my opinion, they tied because I think their value in what I got out of them tied, even though their actual price value does not tie. Um, but yes, that is it for this video. I'm so sorry it's long, guys, but um, it's... Uh, Battle of the Boxes is going to be a little bit longer. Um, but if you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you want to get notifications on when the videos go up, make sure you hit the little notification bell. And if you want to follow me on my different forms of social media, there's links in the description below for all those different things. And if you've yet to enter the giveaway, which is a original beauty blender and a exclusive VIP rouge bag, make sure you click the cards and listen to you over to that video. But yeah, that's it, guys. Stay foxy.